watch this first, this news article, and then I'll tell you why it's so relevant. Um, it is about Matt DeJarnett. So watch this, and then I'll talk to you. Another victim from yesterday's horrific crash in Levine has died. In addition to three young brothers, police tell us a 31-year-old man has also died from his injuries. Andrew Hasman is live with more on the latest victim and this investigation. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Celeste. He was hit head-on after the 16-year-old driver, who did not have a valid driver's license, lost control of the minivan he was in with six others. The 31-year-old was studying to be an x-ray technician, and today we talked to some of his classmates. 31-year-old Matt Desjarnet was on his way to school when the driver of this van lost control and slammed into Matt's car. This morning, his classmates got the news. I came to school and one of my classmates was like, you need to sit down. This wedding day photo is from Desjarnet's Facebook page. He and his wife moved to the Valley from Oklahoma for Carrington College's X-ray Tech program. He was really a big help with everything. I mean, if you needed help, he was the person to go to. He was funny, just kept the class laughing. His classmates came to the roadside memorial, left flowers, candles, and a Batman shirt. Every day he would come to school with a purple ball cap and it had a little Batman symbol and he always wore a purple shirt underneath and um, he made his own lanyards. Everything was purple and Batman. Like, he loved it. Desjarnet was hit by a 16-year-old unlicensed driver who police suspect was impaired when he lost control near 59th Avenue and Southern yesterday morning. The 16-year-old's six siblings were in the car. None of them were wearing their seatbelts. A four, five, and 11-year-old died. Police are also talking to the victim's parents, trying to figure out why the teen was behind the wheel in the first place. Meanwhile, Desjarnet's friends are planning a car wash and campus bake sale to help his family. We've been through every semester together. Like, it's rough and it's hard. It's like losing a family member. The classmates have set the car wash up for this Thursday at Carrington College near 27th Avenue and Bethany Home. As for the investigation, Police investigators noticed signs of impairment on the 16-year-old and got a warrant to draw blood, but they won't know the results of that blood draw for a while. The children who survived are still in the hospital. A three-year-old, we're told, remains in critical condition. I'm Andrew Hasman, Fox 10 News. Now, as I said, you're probably wondering why it's so relevant. And um, it's relevant because... Matt D. Jarnett is, was, my best friend. Um, this news hit me Monday. I was at work. And um, his wife, Sarah, started trying to get a hold of me on Facebook. Call me ASAP, get a hold of me. Um, so I had my wife get a hold of her because I was at work and my wife wouldn't tell me what was going on. Uh, I, I waited a little bit for a text and I finally said, what's going on? And she said, I don't want to tell you over the phone. So I stepped into the office, said, tell me what's going on. She almost wouldn't tell me. I said, is it good or bad at least? She said, it's bad. That's when she told me that he had undergone three cardiac arrests and that his spinal cord had been severed at the neck. Um, so I kind of broke down left work. About four o'clock in the morning, um, his wife called me and told me he was gone. And um, it's been a very, very hard thing. Just, I don't know, to, to have somebody there, somebody that you call a brother, and then to not have them there It's hard. So what I want to tell you people, anybody that's watching this, 
If you have a friend, any of your loved ones, any of your loved ones, you let them know that you love them. Let them know that you're there. Because you don't know it. I mean, you don't think about it until it's too late. The past three days, I've, uh, I've done a lot of crying. Um, I get angry. I get sad when I know he isn't here anymore. This man was my best man at my wedding. I was his best man at his wedding. And um, it's just, I don't know, it's not, it's really not fair. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is tell those people that you care about that you love, that, that you feel like you couldn't live without, let them know you love them and let them know you care about them because you never know when something like this is going to happen. I feel like cried out. Like, yeah, the tears start coming, but at the same time, they're, it's like there's none in the chamber. It's going to change because I know his... his Service is Tuesday, and I'm going to be carrying him to his final resting place, you know. It's hard. So, thanks for watching, everybody. <sighs> Let people know. Let people that you love know. So, um, I'll see you all when I see y'all on here. Cheers.